Hey everyone, how are you doing? My name is Valence, and I want to welcome you to the first of many Grand Theft Auto 5 videos I will be doing this week. Now, due to Grand Theft Auto being a big release and me wanting to cover a lot of content for it, as well as writing a review for it, I will be doing Grand Theft Auto this entire week. Republic at War will not be airing this week, it'll come back next week, and my other shows will remain on schedule, so don't worry about that. But Republic at War Let's Plays are on hold for the addiction in my life that is now Grand Theft Auto. So there's that note. Now moving on, uh, today we're actually going to talk about the shooting range. This is a very cool thing. I didn't think I'd enjoy that much, but it's quite awesome. So in Grand Theft Auto, you're going to be able to increase different skills, right? Um, your physicality, your stealth, um, your shooting, etc., etc., etc. Now you are going to have three main characters. Today we're playing as Michael. This is Michael. Uh, and basically I spent a couple hours tonight just bumping up his shooting. Um, and it's it's literally that simple. So you're going to go to these shooting range. You're going to compete uh, in various challenges. Uh, so far as I know, there's no competitors or like people you're going up against yet I've only played the basic shooting challenges but there's different classes such as handgun submachine gun assault rifle uh, heavy machine gun and then there's also like the heavy heavy which is a minigun I think that's awesome to have at a shooting range it's quite fun uh, you won't see it in this video you're gonna see some handguns some shotguns uh, some submachine guns and also some assault rifles but basically you're hitting targets and there's these different challenges there's with moving targets static targets and the more you hit without missing the higher your combo goes and it actually tracks your hit markers and everything too this is a great way to practice getting used to gta 5's shooting mechanics uh which are different than most games i must admit having b for a reload button kept driving me nuts but hey that's just me i know some other people feel differently so this is how you're going to level up your character skills for example franklin he may be a great driver because he's a carjacker um however he is not the best shot and Michael will actually say, hey, man, I appreciate the help back there in, you know, one of the main uh, kind of quests in there and uh, or in the game, rather. And, you know, he'll be like, you should go practice your shot. And you bring Franklin to the shooting range and you spend a couple hours and um, hours with him just shooting targets. And you realize that your reactivity is going to bump up, how easy it is to move your cursor is going to bump up and also your accuracy. And this is really cool. I mean, I like the idea of having this. Uh, the weapon customization is also through the roof. You can buy scopes, attachments such as silencers. Um, Magpul grips, they have the Magpul foregrip in this game, um, extended magazines, laser sights, flashlights, etc, etc, etc. This is quite awesome. Now, all things considered, though, there's not a lot of guns, uh, which is the only disappointment that I kind of had right off the bat. However, I don't know if I'll unlock more or get special weapons, anything like that. I'm not the biggest GTA person. The reason that this one kind of enthused me because it was such free roam experience, right? It's free roam, that's what it's based upon, and that got me excited. So, I am enjoying it so far. Um, now, with these gun attachments and everything, the important thing to realize is there's only three guns per class. So, that's as far as I know right now. I just started playing the game. Keep in mind, I'm only about five hours in. Uh, but, you know, I've got three handguns, three submachine guns, three assault rifles, three shotguns, two light machine guns, and one heavy, which is a minigun. I don't know if there's going to be any more guns kind of in this little mix up or anything but regardless I'm still enjoying them all the guns handle great they have their unique purposes and abilities uh, and they work quite well and then again the customization really allows you to kind of make any character you want whether you want to make it a stealth kind of approach uh, and all that jazz I actually spent five hours I did some of the main quest um, main quest I feel like I'm playing Skyrim but I did some of the main uh, storyline of Grand Theft Auto 5 and I just found myself doing these challenges uh, going on runs biking i haven't played tennis yet but i really want to because these increase all of your skills that help you on the main missions which is just phenomenal um each character has their own advantages i've only played as franklin and michael as of now michael's a great shot he's great at stealth and he's great at smooth talking uh however franklin is an excellent driver he actually has an ability that lets him kind of fall back um so i'm trying to get franklin shooting up i didn't get footage of that but i did start doing that while watching just a little bit of netflix um this evening so that's kind of the gist of it. Um, but shooting, guys, it's great. If you guys want to see anything in particular, uh, I've gotten gold medals on all the assault rifle and submachine gun ones. I believe around, I think the only one I haven't got a gold on is the uh, carbine or the assault rifle um, challenge three. It's, it's great. I mean, you can definitely tell which guns you're strong with and trains with the ones that you aren't. So give it a shot. I mean, the this, this shooting range is just phenomenal, and I think it's a pretty cool little addition uh, and something I wanted to do my first GTA video on. So thanks for watching this commentary, guys. Remember, if you enjoyed this GTA 5 commentary, please feel free to like this video 
and also click subscribe for more GTA 5 content coming out this week. If you guys have any questions about the shooting range or interested in watching me play the game live, you can tune into my live stream throughout the day that, the days this week at um, www.twitch.tv slash TV. The link is in the description below. And you can also subscribe to this channel for more GTA videos, coverage, etc. If you guys would like to see anything in particular, please feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I'll just continue with uh, the schedule I have planned. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one, and uh, go play some GTA.